Thank you, Speaker. I'd like to highlight two individuals, heroes of our community, really, who have dedicated their lives to saving others. My friend, 10-year-old Caden Blair, was an organ recipient at the tender age of one. His life was saved by someone else whose selfless act to become a donor gave Caden the chance to live. And live he has, Mr. Speaker. It has been 3,654 days since Caden's transplant, and he is celebrating his 10-year liver anniversary by encouraging one person to be a registered donor for each day since his April 27, 2003 transplant. So far, Caden has encouraged 243 people to register, and I'm confident he will reach his goal. Also, it was one year ago Friday that Chrissy Klassen literally gave a part of herself to ensure another would live. The 24-year-old gave up a quarter of her liver so that a nine-month-old local baby girl could survive. She learned about the need through a Facebook page that the girl's mother had devoted to finding a suitable donor for her ailing daughter. Three months later, she was accepted, and as far as she knows, the baby, now a toddler, is thriving. I highlight these stories, Speaker, because there continues to be a great need in our province for organ donation. One of those willing, uh, waiting is two-year-old Emily Ledoux. Uh, at five weeks old, she was diagnosed with the same condition that, uh, uh, that Caden had, uh, biliary atresia. Uh, like Caden, Blair, and Chrissy Klassen, I am certain more Ontarians would choose to make a special gift of life. I urge all eligible Ontarians to visit beadonor.ca and to fill out your donor's card. It only takes a couple of minutes to ensure that your life could save another. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.